Hey guys, so finally we are back right with our farm up chicks on the farm. Oh my god, finally, after a very long time. When was the last time we had birds over here? That should have been September last year, or even earlier than that. July last year, that's when we last had birds here. And currently, we have birds both up and down. Now, this is the first time we've had both up and down on this farm. And it's very exciting. We either had up or down but never both up and down and that means our structure is completely full and you know what that means yeah i'm excited of course that means that we're going to be having more and more money coming in with time now of course i don't sound good right yesterday we were vaccinating the birds right in here up and down and we had to vaccinate them one by one and you know having to catch them they are running around that means they raised a lot of dust from the wood shavings you see the wood shavings yeah so they raised a lot of dust from the wood shavings and that gave me ah my nostrils are blocked just know that so my nostrils are blocked and so talking i'll sound a bit funny while talking and occasionally i do have to sneeze but yeah just understand me my desire to work inside here and see the birds and actually share this with you is stronger than the will of the cold is this a cold an allergy to the dust it's stronger than that So now the sun is really really bright but if you look all around me the birds are actually feeding yeah so i don't want to be a distraction to the birds uh the good thing they haven't yet started laying so that's not a very big issue with them uh, and just in case you're wondering these are farm up chicks by the way these are our own chicks and oh my god i'm really excited about their development they're developing really 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 well their weights are at par uh they are feeding really well with the previous batch of birds, at some point I had problems with their feeding. They didn't seem to have a very, very good appetite. But these, they're having a really, really good appetite. They're feeding really well. Um, so because yesterday we did vaccinate them, we have to give them vitamins. So our tanks, the tanks that we have on the outside, they are quite big tanks. Yeah, They are a thousand liter each. So we have two thousand liter tanks. One for the top floor and one for the bottom floor. And that would be too much water. If we decided to medicate that water, for example, with vitamins or anything else, that would probably take four or five days to finish up because I found out that we probably consume about 140 liters for each floor. So that's 280 liters for up and down. And when we have about 2,000 liters, so it would take us probably about eight nine days for us to get done with all that water so the alternative is that we have to block the taps that bring the water in inside here you know just close the valve and then we put water in manually into our drinkers so someone comes up with a jerry can they mix vitamins inside the jerry can they pour it inside the bucket they pour water manually into a jerry can then they mix vitamins into the jerry can and after mixing vitamins into the jerry can they manually use something to pour water into each of the drinkers and when, when the water gets done they come back and put more and of course the purpose of the vitamins it will decrease the stress levels for the birds so the stress levels for the birds have been decreased with these vitamins so yes of course you can see there is some sunlight inside the house and that's because of the orientation of the house we couldn't achieve a perfect east to west orientation because of the way that the land is oriented you know the most efficient way of using the land was orienting it in this direction so because of that we do have some sunlight coming in the mornings but the good thing is in the morning their buds are feeding so instead of 
trying to concentrate on the sunlight and trying to you know bask in the sunlight they're actually concentrating on the feeding so it's not a very very big issue for us so this is the top floor as you can see you can see the iron sheets right they define the top floor the bottom floor has no iron sheet and you can see all the birds they are feeding very very well you can see the drinkers like i said so the water has just been poured inside here manually inside the water so these pipes right here are not working yeah the water is manual but the birds don't have a problem with it and you see them feeding now um i've found out that the feeders are actually not sufficient i probably need to get a few more feeders maybe five more feeders and how do you know you see these birds here are feeding those ones are feeding these ones are feeding but then there's birds that are chilling right here there's birds that are chilling on the sides even right there at the side there are a few birds that are chilling and those birds are not chilling because they want to chill but it's because they don't have feeder space of course some of the feeders don't have all the birds occupied for example if you take a look at that feeder there's a lot of space if you take a look at this feeder there's a lot of space okay this one it's probably because I'm very close if I moved away they would come but again even that feeder there is a lot of space but still the thing with the birds is that they want to be comfortable they want to have access to feed wherever they are so I'll probably need to bring a bit maybe five more feeders to put inside here and then the litter is very very good guys as you can see the litter is dry nicely dry yeah very very nicely dry so it's not a worry for us there's no worry you can see the drinker this is the drinker and under the drinker is actually very dry we don't have any moisture under the drinker and that means that we put enough food shavings and it also means that the drinker is actually at the right level yeah it's at the right level for drinking for the birds and that prevents water spillage and preventing water spillage is super super important when it comes to poultry because one of the biggest causes of poultry illnesses is poor hygiene when you have poor hygiene inside the house you're likely to get a disease called coccidiosis simply from moisture inside the wood shelving because coccidiosis is a parasite and this parasite grows in places that have moisture yeah it replicates when there is moisture on the floor so in order to keep the place dry and prevent you know the growth of this coccidia that actually leads to coccidiosis it's very very important that you keep the wood shavings dry and so far we are doing really really well of course the birds haven't been here for long the birds have only been here for just over a week but again in just a week you can tell what the issues are and try to avoid them as early as possible actually let's move down and check on the birds that are down okay so here we are inside the other house of course this has a bit more shade because number one this side there is a wall right here and this is where the sun would be coming through directly as you can see there's some sun at the bottom but the rest of the structure actually has no sun and you can see the birds properly distributed yeah properly distributed they all have enough space as you can see there's no congestion anywhere you see the spacing it can be hard to believe that we have a thousand birds inside here and inside here you can see that we have the yellow feeders and the red feeders right here so the yellow feeders are the older type feeders that's the type that we had here before with the previous batch of birds of course they were kept they were disinfected and they are now very clean so that's not a problem it's not like if you use them in the past that's a problem and that's the other advantage with farming you see if you're starting a poultry farm sometimes it might be quite complicated for you like damn it's too expensive but starting out it's quite expensive but subsequently it becomes cheaper because for example these drinkers these are not things i'm going to have to buy again i will never need to buy them again probably for five ten years or even uh same thing with the feeders you know you can see the red feeder right there that can go five years or even more the yellow ones take a little bit less time maybe three years but you'll not need to replace them for a really really long time so a lot of the investments are actually one-time investments when you're just starting out so uh, it's beautiful inside here you can see the birds well distributed they're not fighting for the food it's only when you're serving that they fight a bit because in the night towards the morning they're having issues you know they're not feeding so they'll have some hunger issues yeah but when you're feeding them they'll act like they're fighting but after some time ah they layers generally are not like broilers they are not they don't have very huge appetites compared to broilers so they are 
likely to relax and then when the hunger comes back they come and feed and then relax again so it's really really beautiful here i love exactly how the birds are growing this coming weekend we're going to do another vaccination that's for fall typhoid and then after that we shall be debicking the birds yeah so these were not debicked when they came in we've been blessed that they haven't developed any pecking issues and that's a testament to how good the birds are because you develop pecking issues if there is a nutrient lacking in the birds, you know. Either the birds are bored or there is a nutrient lacking. So they peck other birds' feathers to try to get that nutrient. Or they peck other birds' cloaca, you know, the anus, the outside of the bird. So we are not having any of those issues. So very, very soon, in two weeks' time, we are going to be debicking the birds. So next week, since this weekend, we've done one vaccination next weekend we're going to do another vaccination the other one will be fall typhoid it's quite tedious because it's given in the breast muscle one by one and then after that we give them maybe a few days to get done with the stress and then we shall be doing the debicking one by one on each of the birds it's kind of an automated debicker so it's not as stressful and if you have any questions about you know poultry farming running the farm anything you would love to know come on just leave it in the comment section below i'll do my very best to answer as many of your questions as possible and if you also do want to order some of our farm up chicks or some chicks high quality chicks as you might see them right here just hit us with a whatsapp i leave a whatsapp number in the description below these are very very beautiful isa brown chicks they lay lots and lots and lots of eggs yeah lots of eggs actually i'm certain they can even go up to 97 percent if you feed them properly and look after them properly because their parents managed to go up to 97 percent 96 percent their parents went to so imagine what the children who are actually meant to be layers can do beautiful right of course the other thing that we haven't done that we'll have to do is to work on the laying boxes there's no laying boxes here so in the next two weeks we're going to be working on the laying boxes and then we shall fit them in all around the house i have really really big plans for this farm too and i'll tell them to you guys very soon about our expansion plans and if you haven't subscribed to the channel come on what are you waiting for just hit that subscribe button smash the notification bell that way you never miss out on any of my uploads lots of love catch you very soon with another video Bye-bye.